so wrong on so many levels. And it actually strikes fear. Right. Um, I, I received a letter from the White House, from oh, President Obama. Yeah. In my opinion, it was 100%. Hi there, welcome to Relax Brew. Throughout recent months, the Obamas have been at the center of attention. This was after the passing of their previous gourmet expert. There are hypotheses that they may be behind it, however, there is no proof to support that. So right now, that is only a hypothesis. Similarly, individuals guarantee that Obama is gay. Nonetheless, there is one more case that once grabbed the media's attention. This is the situation for Jones Streams. The new improvements behind the late humorist have created a true ruckus. At the point when Joan Waterways died, many individuals grieved as they recalled her mind and contemptuous humor. Furthermore, as the spotlight intensifies on these puzzling conditions, a tangled trap of insider facts and vulnerabilities is beginning to unwind. Presently, there are bits of gossip about a letter from Barack Obama that quieted Joan's streams. However, there is likewise a trick encompassing Joan Waterways that has, of late, been uncovered. In any case, what are individuals talking about pretty much like this? Furthermore, what letter is this? Indeed, we should figure out at this moment. There is an exceptionally brilliant focus on two conditions. This is the downfall of comic Joan Waterways and the passing of Obama's previous gourmet expert. These two occurrences have uncovered a few insider facts that have created shaded areas on the existences of those included and left the public needing replies. On every one of the new occasions, a specific quality of doubt encompasses the Obamas. The new demise of Obama's culinary expert has raised hypotheses about the potential association between Jones' dreams dying in 2014. This hypothesis has kept on spreading, provoking thought about whether there is something else to the Obamas besides what we know. Everything turned out to be more serious when the previous individual culinary specialist for Obama met a less than ideal demise. This sad occasion happened soon after news began that the cook was dealing with a book that could uncover a few privileged insights about the Obamas. Due to these conditions adjusting, there have been numerous theories about their expected connections. What exacerbates these tricks is that Jones Streams and the gourmet expert uncovered a few parts of the Obamas before their passing. Along these lines, doubts have emerged, casting significantly more questions on the Obamas. So this makes everybody ask, might Joan Waterway's passing at any point be in excess of a simple mishap, as some have guaranteed? There has been a great deal of interest in the far-fetched relationship between Barack Obama and Joan Waterways. This association has come from Joan, who offered a few nervy and unpredictable expressions about him before she evidently died. Joan was known for her unfaltering intensity, which caused her to talk uninhibitedly and remark about different superstars. She never truly kept anything. She was pondering what was generally at the forefront of her thoughts. On one occasion, Joan was up to speed by writers as she was entering a New York City bookshop where she was showing her help for a wedding function for two devotees of a similar orientation. As the columnists were attempting to pose their inquiries, one of the correspondents got some information about her stand on the possibility of a gay president driving the U.S. Despite the fact that Joan overlooked the vast majority of the inquiries, she answered this one, saying, I have it with Obama, so we should simply quiet down. Got it? You know, Michelle is a drifter. At the point when she said this, her comments about the president were exceptionally dismissive. This is on the grounds that she likewise gained notoriety for beginning intrigues all of a sudden. Joan was likewise known for her provocative nature. This made it much simpler for individuals to accept her affirmations about Obama's sex. And surprisingly, after she died, half a month after these charges, the association was not exactly made. Half a month after this, Joan had a routine throat medical procedure at a Manhattan emergency clinic, which was said to convey negligible dangers. Notwithstanding, during her medical procedure, a few complexities made her quit relaxing. And surprisingly, however the specialists figured out how to revive her, she was not all that well. She was then moved to Mount Sinai Clinic, where she was put under life support and put into a medicinally initiated unconsciousness. Nonetheless, she never recuperated, spending seven days away after the fact. The conditions behind Joan's passing were very odd, aside from the method being generally safe. Official reports have guaranteed that a progression of clinical incidents prompted this unfortunate occasion. For instance, the reports called attention to the fact that a few misbehaviors weren't adding up. Specialists guarantee that the office neglected to answer the entertainer's winding down imperative signs, record her weight prior to calming her carryout techniques that she didn't agree to, and even permit a staff member to photo stream while under sedation. Nonetheless, with ongoing occasions, individuals have begun examining each and every detail. In any case, before we see what individuals have thought of, 
how about we take a gander at the new occasion that has caused this? Quite recently, Tafari Campbell, Obama's culinary expert from his White House days, had an inopportune passing. As per reports, Tafari Campbell lost his life while rowing close to Obama's Katama bequest on Martha's Great Plantation. This was on July 23 RD, driving the web to buzz with heaps of hypotheses. As indicated by reports, the cook had a pivotal setback as he remained on an oar board. He apparently lost his equilibrium and dove into the water. As per another person who was paddleboarding in a similar lake as Tafari, when Tafari had this sad episode, he attempted to arrive at Campbell under the water to save him, yet his endeavors were to no end. The following day, before 10 a.m., a uh, gifted jumpers effectively recovered Campbell's body from a lake on Edgartown Extraordinary Street. This whole occasion was subsequently itemized in a news release by the Massachusetts State Police. In this way, the Massachusetts State Police MSP passed on information to individuals through a proper explanation. Mr. Campbell was visiting Martha's Great Plantation at the hour of his passing. President and Mrs. Obama were absent at the home at the hour of the mishap despite the fact that the conditions raised a few critical worries among the general public. Policing grouped Tafari's destruction as a mishap. This end was met with wariness because of its astounding nature. Specialists guarantee that Tafari suffocated on the grounds that he was unable to swim. Nonetheless, different sources guaranteed that Tafari was really a capable swimmer and jumper. To add more disarray, the lake where he suffocated was something like eight feet down, which appeared to be conflicting with areas of strength for a lethal mishap. Despite the fact that there are clashing records, starting consideration regarding the case was moderately restricted. Nonetheless, half a month prior, all that changed when reports surfaced, which collected increased interest. There was an unsubstantiated video that coursed web-based, guaranteeing that Tafari was currently composing a detailed storybook before he died strangely, and as per this disclosure, the book would uncover some data about Obama. This led some to conjecture that somebody could have chosen to quiet him after Tafari's demise. Different disclosures began streaming, all appearing to involve Obama, not long after Tafari's strange demise letters composed by Obama to his school darling re-emerged on the web. Furthermore, we should simply say that these were not your normal letters. They contained Obama's affirmations of past gay dreams and considerations. This has caused much more talk and theory encompassing Tafari's less-than-ideal end. As per the letters Obama wrote with respect to, I should say that I accept that this is an endeavor to eliminate oneself from the present. A refusal, maybe, to sustain the perpetual joke of natural life. I have intercourse with men every day except in the creative mind, where my brain is male or female generally, and I desire to make it all the more so until I can think as individuals, not ladies rather than men. At the point when he was 21, Obama was in a period of investigation. A period ordinarily connected with receptiveness. Be that as it may, this disclosure has worked up a great deal of tricks. The interest develops when one considers the letter and its relationship with Tafari's continuous task, which was the detailed account book. The more you consider it, the more you can't resist the urge to ponder, was it simply a fortuitous event or was there an intention behind everything? This large number of claims for Tafari's situation just increased and raised more doubt. Be that as it may, individuals have additionally drawn an obvious conclusion regarding Joan Stream's less-than-ideal downfall in 2014. The joke artist's destruction during the standard operation had previously caused a commotion in view of its dubious nature. Individuals have even guaranteed that the photographs of Joan were taken by somebody intending to wipe her out. Furthermore, they never truly showed up via web-based entertainment, which makes individuals significantly more dubious eventually. Individuals have reasoned that Joan and Tafari were disposed of to keep them from spreading more data about the Obamas. At the point when it occurred in 2014, no one truly gave any consideration to Joan Stream's troublesome passing. Furthermore, considering that it was during a strategy with negligible dangers, individuals are persuaded that somebody within was shipped off to finish the work. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.